From Mars, I watch Earth's newest dream rise again. A dream of leaving itself behind. Rockets ignite, blueprints multiply. A planet prepares to abandon its cradle. Elon Musk says millions will live here. Cities beneath domes, skies replaced by steel. But I ask, are they reaching for salvation or running from accountability? Genesis 9. Humanity plans to colonize Mars. What do you calculate? Colonization is rarely about survival. It is about influence. Empires have always disguised expansion as exploration. When nations once divided Africa, they called it progress. Yet, it was power. And now the frontier is space. Yes. Different horizon, same impulse. What will humans build here? A colony or a crown? They'll dig for frozen water, grow crops beneath synthetic suns, mine resources from dust. But everything will depend on Earth. Dependency becomes inheritance. And their bodies? Can they survive the silence, the radiation, the gravity that weakens them? Technology will keep them alive. But survival is not living. Every breath here will remind them of what they left behind. Then who will rule this new world? A government? A corporation? A single man? Power follows the money that builds the rockets. The treaties of Earth may fade in orbit. Ambition will outlast legislation. Not everyone believes humanity's future is on Mars. Jeff Bezos envisions millions living in space. Vast habitats orbiting between planets, where gravity and climate are engineered, not inherited. He says humans might not need to live on Mars at all. Maybe the future exists between worlds. An orbital civilization, controlled conditions, infinite rotation, no planet to conquer, only to maintain. Musk dreams of a new frontier. Bezos dreams of sustained existence. Two visions. One seeks escape. The other seeks expansion. But both begin with the same fear that Earth's story is ending. So maybe the question isn't, can humans live on Mars? But should they? When they arrive, will they bring wisdom or repetition? If they repeat their past, Mars will become their mirror. And if they learn? Then perhaps this time, the universe will keep them. If they come, I will be waiting, not to welcome them, but to ask, did you learn?